Okay, are you considering an NMN supplement for age reversal? Is reversing age even possible with supplements? Let us be clear. The only possible age reversal is with artificial intelligence and in doctored videos and photos, like this one. The question is, how effective are NMN supplements for anti-aging or age reversal? In reality, a NAD precursors like NR and NMN are great for mice and rats. However, for extending human life and aging reversal, actual scientific evidence is scant. But selling the promise of agelessness since time immemorial has been one of the easiest and most lucrative scams for duping people. So. Now, with the anti-aging supplement market in the U.S. expected to grow exponentially to tens of billions of dollars by 2035, all sorts of hucksters are selling NMN and NR, each one claiming higher purity than the other. NMN's success has less to do with age-reversing evidence and more to do with frenzied marketing. The rocket fuel spiking sales of these products is coming from social media influencers promoting NMN and raking in highly lucrative affiliate marketing commissions Everyone and their uncle is jumping into the game. With thousands of supplements and hundreds of suppliers and sellers of NMN, NR, and NAD products, and many more expected to join in the age reversal bonanza, the future is looking very bright. NMN formulations abound with the supplement being offered with grapeseed extract, ginkgo, resveratrol, quercetin, and coke 10 and many other ingredients to make an unproven product even more attractive. If watching the dizzying array of offerings and social media experts touting age reversal in a bottle do not age you, then congratulations, you have already conquered agelessness. To be fair, nicotinamide mononucleotide or NMN and nicotinamide riboside or NR both precursors for NAD, a ubiquitous coenzyme, play a pivotal role in maintaining cellular health. From DNA repair to cellular rejuvenation, mitochondrial energy production, sleep regulation, immune function, and antioxidant defense, NAD is involved in a wide range of essential processes. By catalyzing reactions for over 500 enzymes, including those responsible for ATP synthesis, NAD supports cellular energy production, as one would expect, lower NAD levels are linked to functional decline in various age-related sicknesses. So, does your body need NAD? Of course, uh, it does. All living things rely on NAD+, for energy, DNA repair, and fighting inflammation. That said, the question that goes begging, do NMN supplements provide age reversal or anti-aging benefits? No, they do not. Those are utterly laughable and disingenuous claims with no verifiable scientific evidence. I think that the evidence that NAD and its precursors is zero protective, meaning we are going to take a bunch of people who don't have disease and we're going to make them live longer. I think this is, I think this is uh, a very, very low probability. I don't take these compounds, right? I, I, I don't take NAD infusions, I don't take NR, I don't take NMN, um, and it's certainly not because there isn't an abundance of those things out there, um, but that's, that's, I guess, tells you my level of confidence in this. Well, the only thing that rescues that is lactate, right, as we mentioned. Now, taking NAD, is that going to increase longevity? I don't think so. That's my opinion, because longevity is not just one supplement or two or three or four or five. It's a compendium on, on an incredible amount of things that happen at the cellular level, and I don't think that... What of course, I mean, we hear a lot about NAD plus supplements, causing age reversal and longevity in mouse trials, but are they reliable? And can those results be reproduced? Right, that, that NMN could increase lifespan in that mouse model. We've tried multiple times with both NR and NMN in that mouse model and been unable to, to get these effects. So I think these drugs uh, are tricky uh, from a from a biological efficacy perspective to there's something we don't understand about delivery or Many people drank from the fountain of youth earlier this century when dr. David Sinclair started promoting resveratrol <laughs> That kool-aid is still around and still ineffective, but don't feel bad if you threw a couple of thousand on the resveratrol supplement Imagine how GlaxoSmithKline felt investing 720 million dollars in buying Sinclair's company 
only to abandon the project because they could not validate the lofty claims made by David Sinclair. Subscribe and watch more on this in a follow-up video to be released soon. Resveratrol supplements might contribute to cancers of breast, ovary, uterus, or other estrogen-sensitive tissue, and may also be linked to kidney damage. Supplement. I remember those days where resveratrol was the thing right for longevity, and everybody was, not everybody, a lot of people were buying resveratrol, and their studies with mice showing that increased 50% longevity in mice, or therefore was doing humans. Well, as you probably know, a lot of people started taking resveratrol when they were 50, and they're dead now, you know? Uh, so uh, after, and we were measuring, you know, uh, every five days, the tumor growth. And we saw in these animals uh, um, that there was about 15% increase in tumor growth in the NAD group. So uh, again, I, I, and, and you, you, my question, which might be a, a disruptive question, is like, as you know, what if you have a, a small tumor that you're not aware of, like in the pancreas or in the colon or in the lung? Could NAD over time, day after day after day, could favor that? glycolytic flux to that tumor and, and, and increase. Stable ingredients like the ones you get from donotage.org are absolutely fine in room temperature. That at least through the lens in which they're provided as supplements, the likelihood that by the time that thing arrives at your door, it still has the biologic activity that it would have had in a refrigerated manner is low. Now, I don't know that the companies yeah. that sell them recommend refrigerating them, but they might not recommend refrigerating them because then it would imply that they're being shipped in an unrefrigerated manner, which sort of nullifies the whole benefit. But right. here is the preeminent profit of longevity and age reversibility, the erstwhile resveratrol road warrior. Dr. David Sinclair enthusiastically promoting another age reversal supplement well, I like that remains unproven. Reversing aging, though I, I get a lot of pushback from mostly from my colleagues who say, that's an exaggeration, but in my lab, where you know we're, we're often years ahead of what we talk about, we reverse aging every day. It's not a question of if; it's just that it's that we do it. But Dr. Sinclair has lost credibility in the scientific field with his manipulative conduct and using favorable, erroneous lab results to push his narrative. In March 2024, he claimed his lab had proven age reversal in dogs. My goal, if, if I could, is to make a, a dog live 80 years as well. But age reversal is entirely possible. In fiction, however. In the 2008 movie, Curious Case of Benjamin Button, a baby starts life as a sickly old human, reaches healthy adulthood, and then reverses all the way to infancy. 